Hello, it's Brian Resney, president of Resney Wealth Management. It's question and answer day. A lot of questions that I've received on my TV radio show as of late in regards to all this woke culture, you know, where basically everything's inclusive and there's bad marketing campaigns. Budweiser, of course, comes to, uh, to name right now Target as of late. I've even seen some crazy stuff over to Home Depot when you walk into the store. You know, at the bottom line is companies should stick to just doing general marketing that includes everybody. By doing these, these little onset marketing campaigns alienates the, your biggest base of consumer. So the questions come in, as stocks like Budweiser have dropped substantially or Target, is it time to buy those? It depends. You really need to look at the company itself. A lot of what's happening right now, eventually people will forget and they'll go back to buying Budweiser again or Bud Light um, or maybe shopping at Target more. Uh, but at the end of the day, they might not. And the rhetoric from these corporations might continue, which could further plummet the value of those stocks and sales. So again, these stocks are dropping because sales are actually dropping on their products. Consumers are leaving. So that is could be a long-term negative unless those consumers come back. What I would suggest is this. You can watch some of those stocks that have been beat up because of this woke kind of campaign on marketing that alienates the majority of the client base, which is not right, in my opinion. Uh, but at the end of the day, uh, you probably are better off staying away from those kinds of stocks, looking at the landscape of much better opportunities who are not getting involved in these minute pieces of the culture and marketing just to them that alienates the overall client base. Hopefully that answers that question. And as always, remember, we talked about the market at the beginning of this year. We talked about specifically how we were invested at Resident Wealth Management. We've made some substantial changes to client portfolios as of late. And the reason we've done that is we're trimming exposure in overvalued, overheated areas. One of the things that most uh, uh, so-called advisors do, they buy and hold, they over asset allocate. And so what happens is you always own things maybe you shouldn't or the wrong percentages at different times. We believe in more active management. So we've actually trimmed some of our over aggressive growth prospects recently. We're gonna be trimming some more and we're starting to add some more value oriented components back in the portfolio and we're gonna be adding more to oil in addition to the future. Areas that have lagged temporarily but have a good catalyst, most consumers won't buy because they're not doing as well as something else. If you chase performance, you're gonna get burned. If you sell some of that performance and trim some of your exposure to reallocate areas that are lagging but should have gone up, in our opinion, that's a better strategy and that's how we deploy money at Resney Wealth Management. If you're not a client of our firm, you should become a client. Real money management, real advice, 100% of the time. Have a safe and profitable day.